Bharat Airtel has increased the base tariffs from rupees 99 to rupees 155 in over 19 circles of India now. Now there are only two remaining telecom circles where the hike has not been implemented yet, but it will happen very soon as well. So can we expect a full blown or full scale tariff hike in the near future? Well, we are going to talk about that in this video. So please watch it till the end and make sure if you haven't subscribed to the Telecom Talks channel yet, please do that right away. Let's go. So friends, as we all know, if you have been following the telecom industry, the telecom operators are of the view, especially the private telecom operators, Vodafone Idea and Bharat Airtel are of the view that they are not getting the return on the capital they are employing. And this is primarily because of the lower tariffs in the industry. But that is about to change very soon. Bharat Airtel has said that it wants to reach an ARPU level of rupees 300. ARPU in long is called average revenue per user. It simply means the amount of money that a telecom company is earning from its customer on an average. So for Airtel, that figure stands at rupees 194 right now, or or maybe 193. I'm not too sure. For Vodafone Idea, it is around 135, and Reliance Jio, it is 178.2. So none of the telecom operators have yet crossed the rupees 200 levels. And if we talk about Bharti Airtel, it says that its short-term ARPU target is rupees 200, which it should be able to achieve. Given the fact that they are increasing the base tariffs from rupees 99 to rupees 155 all over India, but the same hasn't been implemented by Vodafone Idea yet. Now, what is Vodafone Idea doing here with the tariffs? We don't actually know. The telco has said in its earnings call, recent earnings call, that they are currently assessing what Bharat Airtel has done in the telecom circles. And if you just see in the month of December when Airtel hiked the tariffs for Odisha and Haryana, the base tariffs we are talking about, instead of losing subscribers. the telco actually added new users so this is a positive surprise for the telco and the industry analysts and this is a sign of encouragement for airtel as well as vodafone idea that you know we can remove the base tariffs and push consumers to pay a little more now while this is a sort of tariff hike this is not actually the kind of hike that we saw back in 2021 december or 2009 in december those were full blown out full scale tariff hikes the same haven't happened yet and you know if you believe me i don't think that it's going to happen anytime soon now there's a very big reason behind it and that big reason is reliance jio now i'm not saying that reliance jio is a hero over here for the consumers and it is actually keeping the tariffs slow while in a way it is doing that There's also another reason why Jio is not going ahead with the tariff hikes. Jio actually lost active users in November, and this was a surprise for everyone in the industry. Jio, if we just compare with Bharat Airtel, has added somewhere millions of less users when we just talk about the active users. So while Reliance Jio's overall subscriber base, wireless subscribers we are talking about, is actually very much bigger than Bharat Airtel's, the truth is when we talk about active subscribers. subscribers which are actually the ones that matter because these are the subscribers that are paying money to the telcos Bharat Airtel and Reliance Jio don't have a very big difference and Reliance Jio is a player that wants a larger cut of the market in its portfolio and that is the reason why Reliance Jio is not going to go ahead with the tariff hikes anytime soon and if Jio doesn't go after the tariff hike I don't think Bharat Airtel or Vodafone Idea can do that either while Airtel wants to be the premium player or Vodafone Idea wants to improve its ARPU so that it can potentially improve its overall revenues reliance jio is the key factor here for both of these telcos to go ahead with the tariff hikes if reliance jio doesn't go ahead with the hikes airtel and vodafone idea simply cannot because that would result in a very big subscriber loss for them if subscribers see that reliance jio's tariffs are actually 50% lesser than what they are getting from airtel and vodafone idea they would simply shift to reliance jio services and that is the simple truth and if we just talk about the tariff hikes in general the life for consumers not just in india but across the world has been getting hard a little because of the supply chain constraints that the pandemic brought with it and you know if we just talk about the whole macro market there's a sign of inflation over there and things and overall general lifestyle has been getting more expensive lately so the telcos would factor that in and wouldn't want the wireless subscribers shut down their secondary sims you know which are again 
a source of income for them even though that's not that big of a source of revenue it is a source of revenue and they wouldn't want to lose it at this point of time so the telcos would proceed very carefully and i think the next round of tariff hikes isn't going to come the way it did before right now i think the telcos would go ahead in a much more sophisticated manner i mean it's it's going to i think happen in a staggered or staged manner as in we will see some of the plans getting a hike and then some of the users getting affected but this would happen in a phase wise manner so that it's not a whole shock to the industry or the consumers so it wouldn't really result in a very big subscriber loss right away and you know it would also help the telcos keep improving their revenues every quarter that goes by and the telcos actually need the tariff hikes this is because you know they are investing a lot of money into building the fiber infrastructure that 5g requires they are putting a lot of money into the research and development for taking out new technologies so that consumers like you and me can actually enjoy our internet experience in mobiles or whether we are using fiber broadband services inside our homes you know all of this thing is powered by the investments that telcos are making in the infrastructure so right now as a consumer while you should understand that you know the telcos are going to charge you more money you should also understand that there's a reason behind it. they're not just greedy but they also want a better business for them at the end of the day they also have to go back to their investors they have to tell them look this is a balance sheet this is the amount of money that we have made and for the longest time because of the lower tariffs telcos haven't been able to make good returns only two telecom operators in india are at the moment profitable if we talk about vodafone idea the telco has not even been able to you know raise tariffs and one of the reasons that vodafone idea gave maybe two years back was the lower industry tariffs so that has to improve somewhere and you know it will improve it it is an inevitable thing we cannot just keep consuming lower tariffs all our lives and expect quality services so i'm not actually advocating that things should become expensive but the simple general rule is you get what you pay for so if you want a quality service you got to pay more and if you want to keep you know consuming lower tariffs then you cannot really complain too much about the network capacity issues that you face on a daily basis so this is it for today guys whatever you think about this video please let us know in the comments below i would love to get your thoughts on the tariff hikes and you know the situation that vodafone bharti airtel and reliance you are in we have skipped out on bsnl and its tariffs because you know there's no point right now because bsnl is still yet to launch 4g so that is also a topic that we can talk a little bit more about please drop your thoughts in the comments below and if you haven't yet subscribe to our channel give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends we'll see you in the next video till then take care